So I'm working installing the J. Bauer 4-port RC switch onto the Radian light controller. So I've got here two J. Bauer RC switches right here. This is the older one that's larger and this is the smaller one and I also have the directions here on how to wire it up. So the first thing I did was remove the pins off the small one. I'm going to be using the small one. So I removed these pins that were right here on the small one. I'm going to be soldering on two wires for the receiver lines. These are going to come from the receiver to control the switch right there. So I'm going to solder those on first. The receiver wires are now connected and you can see I have yellow on the signal and then red in the middle and then brown. So yellow, red, brown. And I soldered them on the top because I'm going to put these boards back to back and I didn't want anything protruding on the back. At least keep it as flat as I can. The radiant light controller board right here is now taped to the switchboard with some double-sided tape. I used this 3M double-sided tape, just stuck them together. And the reason it's offset here is I decided it might be easier to do it that way because I've got pins 1, 2, and 3 here that have to go around to these three button inputs right here. And then pin 4 ground can just go to ground and then we have the stuff for the UBEC, the input of the UBEC 5 volts, and then this pin here would come back out on pin 5 and go to VCC right over here. So that looked like the shortest pass that I could use. Then I have all my other cables coming out this side. For the buttons I'm going to be using some of this really small stranded wire from a printer cable. I don't need anything big for the buttons because it's not going to carry a lot of current. So the thin wires go on pins 1, 2, and 3 and as you can see from the diagram they go to the buttons. So they come off these pins, go around to the buttons like this. Now pin 4, I decide instead of running it to the ground side of the buttons over here, I just simply run it down to ground right here. So it just comes off, goes under this wire to ground. And that's that thin printer cable wire. Then I use some 20 AWG silicon wire to run from the VCC out on the switchboard right here, pin 5, down to the VCC on the board, on the light controller board right here. So all that remains to be hooked up is pin 6, which is the VCC, or 5 volts from the UBEC. And then the UBEC will also go to ground, which could be right over here. Let me get in a little closer here, and then I'll just rotate it around so you can see how it's wired. So the UBEC goes right here, the 5 volts from the UBEC on this pin. And then the ground from the UBEC. It could either go here with this wire, or it could go over here. I think it would be easier to put it over here. So here is the UBEC installed now. You can see where the red wire goes to pin 6. And the black wire goes to ground on the radian light controller. So now we can just slide some heat shrink up these wires here and put it over both boards. And that should complete the job. Alright, the RC switch is now installed and it's now controlling the Radian light controller. The two wires coming from the switch are plugged in right here on channels 5 and 6 right here on my FreeSky receiver. This is an S8R receiver that I'm using, but you could use an X8R or other ones just as long as you got enough channels. You're going to need like at least six channels. I'll make another video on how to program the Tyrannus radio for the two switches that you'll need. One switch is just a two position switch like this one and when you toggle that really slow it'll turn the lights on and off. So if I go slow 
It also functions as the switch to walk through the pattern. So if I go quick like this, it'll change patterns. And then there's one more switch. This switch up here, which is a three position switch. And this changes direction. So if I go back this way, I can toggle the switch again a couple of times and get back to where I was. It also changes speed. If I put it in the middle, you can change the speed that the lights operate at. So now they're going really slow and I can toggle a few more times and speed it back up to where it was before. So we got forward, speed, and backward. This is the mode switch, three position switch. And this is the switch to toggle right here or to turn the lights on and off like this. Okay, so stay tuned for that next video and I'll show you how to program the Tyrannus radio to do that.